Imagine today's typical trip to the store, that big, complex place where we go to get all the things we need to run our homes and take care of ourselves and our families. The store, that seems so impersonal, doesn't it? What if the store was personal? What if instead of the store, it was my store? The Smiths are cruising home from their quick dinner out. As they drive near their S-Mart, the localized signal from the store reaches mom's smartphone. Mom's store recognizes her proximity and sends her an alert about the need to restock her laundry detergent soon. Dad says he also needs some paint and Sophie wants to look for a new top. So they decide to stop and do the shopping before going home. As they enter, their S-Mart apps launch, giving them an option to check in. They receive an individualized greeting. The store has begun to transform into my store for each of them as they feel welcomed, appreciated, and acknowledged. Mom heads off to get her detergent and other urgent items. Now the shopping list on her smartphone becomes more than just an electronic substitute for a slip of paper. As she moves through the store, her list reorders itself based on her location and automatically checks off items as she shops. As she approaches her favorite detergent, she is encouraged to consider a new laundry additive. She can use her phone to see a short video to help her decide if she wants to give it a try. As a result, Emily can make her decisions based on how the product suits her needs versus just another deal. Now she has some time back because her mission is over sooner than she planned. Maybe she will go browse for a new handbag. My store makes mom feel efficient, gives her ideas and news about new products. We find Dale seeking out the things he needs to paint the nightstand they found at the flea market. The shelf assistant screen recognizes him, flashes hello, and presents the current list of home projects he manages on his phone. Dale selects a project and chooses how he wants to be helped. A live expert describes his options so he can pick the right products. Dad makes his choices and Jorge handles his transaction right in the aisle. My store offered clear solutions, inspired confidence, and enabled an informed decision. Sophie heads to the fitting room to try on her most promising find. The RFID tag triggers a display which brings up useful information to help her decide transforming the fitting room into much more than just a room with a mirror. The display presents reviews and offers suggestions for outfits, even other colors on the top she is trying on. Sophie lets the associate know she needs a different size, right from the display. A confirmation text lets Sophie know the item will be brought to her, even if she leaves the department. Sophie likes the style so much that she wants to get a gray top, along with the white one. They're sold out in the store, giving her the option to get it from the distribution center. She logs in with her user ID and password, and the item is as good as in her closet. Claire is in the back room when she receives an alert to bring Sophie's item. She grabs the shirt and locates Sophie on her tablet. The store system alerts Claire that there is the need for some restocking near Sophie, so she grabs three orange shirts as well before heading to give Sophie her item. She makes her way to Sophie, who has found a t-shirt for her boyfriend, and gives her the top. Sophie celebrates her successful trip, and Claire feels like she is the most efficient associate in the store. My store has left Sophie feeling assisted, encouraged, and validated with her choices. Mom and Sophie link up at the checkout area, where they effortlessly pass through the payment area. Their items are identified and rung up in seconds, and Mom pays with her smartphone. What a great decision to stop on the way home. At home, Mom gets a follow-up message from Smart. Dad gets more info to help his technique, and Sophie gets a shipping confirmation.